Welcome everyone to Catholic Memorial's 62nd commencement. We are excited to gather and celebrate the class of 2022 and their many achievements. Our ceremony will begin in a few moments. We ask that you hold your applause during the calling of graduates so that each family can hear their son's name being called. We will take periodic breaks during the calling of graduates to applaud and recognize the boys. Thank you. Welcome, Welcome families, families, guests, guests faculty, faculty, and staff, faculty and staff of Catholic, Catholic Memorial, Memorial, and of course, and of course the, class the class of 2022. Of 2022. I, I, I ask that I we, all, we stand all stand as we honor as we America. Honor America. 
I'd like to call like on, to call Dr. on Michael Dr. Michael Monroe, Monroe and our chorus, and our chorus to, lead to lead us in the singing, in the singing of God, God bless, America. bless America. I'd ask that we all remain standing. And now, to open the 62nd commencement exercises of Catholic Memorial Schools, I'd like to call on Mr. Kevin DeRazzo, Vice Principal of Mission and Integration, to acknowledge the presence of God by offering the invocation. In the name of the, the Father, of the Father Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Loving, God, Loving God, we gather, we gather before, before you as the Catholic, Catholic Memorial Community. community. Students, Students families, families, friends, friends teachers, 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 coaches. coaches. We, are we are united as your children, as your children and, together, and together we form a family. We, form a family. we are all, here, are all here, here in this beautiful, this beautiful space, space on this on glorious and sunny and day. Sunny day to celebrate those who are now ready to bring the love of this family out into the world, the graduating class of 2022. We pray in gratitude for everything that our students have contributed to our school academically, artistically, athletically, socially, and spiritually. Truly God, they have impacted each other, our school, city, world, church, and today we celebrate, rejoice, and give thanks. We pray that pray CN may CN live in their live hearts, in their hearts forever, forever and that you will that continue, you will continue to, bless to bless them as they lead their, their lives, lives pursuing, pursuing excellence, excellence embracing, embracing gospel, gospel values, values and striving, striving to, lead to lead their lives through service. through service. We call to, we call to mind, mind and pray for pray those in our world who lack, who lack the love, support, support and, education and education that will allow them to reach the full potential that you have given these boys. We pray that the diplomas and honors we receive today always remind us of the example of blessed Edmund Rice and the Christian brothers to always share the abundance of our gifts and talents with our church and world, and especially those who are most in need. Today, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, live Jesus in our hearts. Thank you, Mr. Durazo. You, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to call like on to call Dr. Peter Follin, President, President and Head of School of School Memorial, Memorial, to present, to present the, brother, the, brother, the Thomas Beatty Salutatorian Award, Award and the Brother and Joseph G. G. McKenna, McKenna General Excellence Award. Award. The Thomas P. Salutatorian Award is presented to the student who, in the eyes of the Catholic Memorial community, is an outstanding representative of his senior class and who has demonstrated excellence while at CM. It is my privilege to introduce the Thomas P. Salutatorian Award recipient, Aiden Healy.
running against the wind, so please bear with me. I'm a funny guy. Thank you, Dr. Hey, Fulwin and Mr. O'Brien. Good, Good afternoon, friends, friends family, family, faculty, faculty and, staff, and staff, and of course, and of course my fellow Knights of the, of the class of 2022. 2022. I am honored, I am honored to, be to, to be able to speak to you all on this special, on this special day. day. I want to start, want to start by, admitting by admitting that I struggled a lot while writing, while writing the speech. The speech. I am not terribly, not terribly creative or funny, or funny. and although I do I a lot of speech in theater, I, I like to do most of my talking extemporaneously and working a lot of impromptu, much to the dismay of Dr. Corso. After having After a heart-to-heart -heart heart with Mr. O'Brien, I, I realized that coming up here with no notes or plan wouldn't be a wouldn't great, be a great idea. idea. So after a so lot of reflection, reflection admittedly, admittedly maybe a little, maybe bit, too a little much, bit too much, but as my friends, but as my friends happily, happily reminded me last night during the Celtics, Celtics game, game, there is no there clock is no on learning, on learning. I, realized I realized that I was struggling with the why of this speech. See, See, in pure ministry, in pure ministry the, premier the premier leadership program, program at CM, at CM we, accomplish we accomplish goals every morning, every morning right at 7.15 right by, 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 uh, by starting, uh, starting with asking, asking why. why. And, and here and was my here issue. Was my issue. I found it I ironic, found ironic that, I that I was speaking before you today, before you today solely, solely because of my good grades. Good grades. Well, in the, well, in the reality, my CM experience, experience was about so, about so, so much so more than just than grades, grades and academics. academics. Now, CM, now, CM is, is, of course, first, first and foremost, foremost a place of learning. Of learning. However, I would However, bet I would the bet re remaining, remaining negative, balance negative balance in my next, next time account, account that, if you, that if you were to ask admissions officers, officers teachers, teachers, campus, campus ministers, ministers, alumni, alumni and of course, us students, students, to describe to the CM experience, the experience in one word, one word you would get you one get overwhelming, overwhelming answer, answer. Brotherhood. brotherhood. In fact, before, in fact, before I, came I came to CM, to CM it seemed like it seemed everyone who I met, who had either gone to CM or knew someone who did, including my father, a CM alum, would marvel would about the CM, about CM brotherhood. brotherhood. It almost it seemed kind of cultish in a way. way. The, brotherhood the Brotherhood here at CM, here at CM is, so is so wonderfully unique, unique that, it's that, it's that it's impossible to describe. To describe. When I was a sophomore, Michael, Michael McCarthy, one of the seniors that I had befriended as a freshman on the speech team, returned to CM from college and said that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to explain life at CM to those outside of the walls of Baker Street. The brotherhood must be experienced. Now, having completed my last class at CM, I know this is true. Now, although now, when I think of CM, CM no, words no words really come to mind, come to mind. Two, photos two photos that I hold dear do actually pop into my, into my brain. brain. And, and I'll, I'll try to describe these photos to you to give you all a sense of my experience. Sense of my experience. The, first the first image is from image six, is from years, six ago, years ago and shows a group shows of seventh of graders, 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 including myself, including all smiling during the first night of the seventh grade Acadia trip. In the middle of the image, I can be seen giving an emphatic smile and a thumbs up. Now, although that now, although photo, that was, photo taken was taken six years, six years ago, ago, I can remember, I can remember exactly, exactly how I felt at that moment. That moment. To, give to give a little background, background before coming before to CM, coming I was I nervous. nervous. I was and I still am a very shy, very shy guy. guy. And I came and to I came CM to knowing, knowing nobody, nobody and from a different from a faith different background. background. However, However, through a combination of long nights of talking with my roommates during the Acadia trip, and during minus 1085s in Mr. Smith's social studies class, with my, with my future, future speech, speech teammate, teammate Nicholas Amello, countless, countless ADD dances, dances with Miss Everly, Everly, me's and we's and with Mr. Ryan, Ryan, and sucking wind sucking during wind conditioning for middle school football, for middle school football. I, felt I felt for the first time, first time that I had found, I found a close-knit close community. community. The, second the second image is from a, just a couple just months ago with an entirely different group of people enjoying wings at Bell's Pub in Watertown. Shout out to Mr. Browley, it's the best wings in Boston. Now, although this was six years later, all of the people all the in that people image had all changed dramatically, tremendous, 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 but our moods, our, our, our facial expressions, and our feelings, expressions, and our feelings were feelings the exact were the same. same. Brotherhood. Brotherhood. Now, between, now these, two between images, these two images, the years, the years flew, flew by. by. Very, much, Very like much like that goose like that, that flew into Mr. Katano's classroom. Through that time, Through that time we read great we read literature, literature like Lanagin vs. The Ants, common war stories about speeding to peer ministry and doing a push folders have been shared, our literary and musical tastes have been reinvigorated by Mr. Atkins, many buses have gone out and occasionally not returned, physics quizzes and makeup quizzes have all been taken, we have collectively all forgot about the existence of stewardship hours and we were all privy to the various television and food recommendations of Mr. Bradley. However, However, I will miss, I will most, miss most the everyday, the everyday things, things, the small, small moments, moments when I feel the brotherhood, brotherhood most strongly. Most strongly. 
Moments like Moments eating like breakfast eating wraps, wraps in the morning, hanging out with underclassmen, out with during, underclassmen during study, study periods, periods, then interrupting, then interrupting, other, classes interrupting other classes to continue classes talking, to continue talking, continue with, talking with, with those underclassmen. Those underclassmen. Sorry about that, Sorry Mr. Clark. About Mr. Clark. Uh, liking, uh, liking funny funny comments comments on CM social social media, media. staring Staring down the campus ministry ministry office office looking for candy, candy. seeing Seeing Nolan Howard Howard chug donuts donuts in the morning morning and then get shamed shamed by Mr. Array for doing so, and calling for cereal whenever any sort of problem occurs. These are the moments at CM that make them feel like home. Now I know these days and moments are numbered. In fact, since the class of 2022 has entered CM, a lot has changed. The days of 40 minute lunches and chicken boxes are long gone. The building has expanded. My favorite place on campus, room two, is now room B14. And we've gone through about seven different schedules and dress codes. However, as CM and the world around us continues to change, I'm confident that the brotherhood will remain. Our nicknames will always stay, for better or worse. We will always share the same stories over and over and over again. And past alumni will always ask us if we have Mr. Catano in class. Now, this would not be a true CM speech if I did not mention character and being a man for us. We love to talk. The best lesson that my CM education has given me has been to show me the importance of forging friendships and working to make a positive impact on the community. First and foremost, I learned this lesson from my friendships I shared with my CM brothers. In fact, the things I've learned and accomplished while at CM, and the very essence of who I am today and who I want to become, would not be possible in part without the kinship, community, and mentorship I've experienced here over the last six years. To that end, I would like to thank all of the facilities managers and administrators who work tirelessly to ensure that our school can operate. I'd also like to thank thank all the amazing amazing guidance guidance counselors, counselors, teachers, teachers, moderators, moderators and coaches, coaches, especially Dr. Corso, Corso, Dr. Monroe, Monroe, Mr. Clark, Mr. Brother Cavett, and my favorite favorite homeroom teacher, Mr. Mr. Finn, Finn, for all of their guidance, guidance, leadership, and shared lessons. lessons. Finally, Finally, I want to thank you all for being a great group of family who made these last six years an amazing ride for me and for so many of us in these seats today. I look forward to coming to CM every single day because of you guys, and I'm excited to see you all hanging out in all class reunions and bragging about how much money you donated to the end. May Edmund Rice continue to pray for us, and may we live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. The, brother the brother Joseph G. McKenna, G. McKenna General, General Excellence Award is named, is named for the founding for the headmaster, headmaster of Catholic Memorial. It is awarded it is to the awarded senior, to senior who has earned the distinction of being ranked of being first academically, academically in his class, in his class and who, and who, who in the view of the faculty and staff, 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 lives out the mission of Catholic, of Catholic Memorial in all his endeavors. This year's this Brother year's Joseph, Brother Joseph G. McKenna, G. McKenna General, Excellence General Excellence Award, and our valedictorian, and our valedictorian is John, John Marcucci. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien, Dr. Fullen. Good afternoon, faculty and staff, family and friends, and of course, my brothers, the class of 2022. Knowing the importance of this speech, I naturally waited until the very last second to finish writing it. On Sunday, my parents gave me some advice, which boiled down to this. Don't give advice, make it personal, but remember this moment is not all about you, and most importantly, keep it short. I do my best to follow their wisdom. Six years ago, I entered CM after seven years in the Medfield public school system. The choice was somewhat difficult, not between CM and Zavarian. 
Don't be ridiculous. But between staying in Medfield, where all my friends were, and going to school half an hour away, where I knew very few people. But I saw something on my night for a day visit that I didn't want to miss out on. The chicken boxes. Jokes on me, they got rid of them a year after I came. But in all seriousness, I saw the easy camaraderie and the genuine fun those kids could have in the insignificant moments between classes, walking over to lunch and executing Mrs. Everly's ADD dance. And then I got the CM. And there was a bit of an adjustment period that many, if not all of us, went through. Part of my personal adjustment period included bringing a book to school every day and reading in every spare moment, including our 40-minute lunches. So when I should have been talking with my fellow knights, I was instead rereading Aragon for the 50th time. However, slowly but surely, inspired by the Acadia trip and the wilds of Ranger Misha, I came out of my shell and engaged fully with the CM community. People most responsible for this were, of course, my fellow CM brothers. And they showed me the importance of having a little fun. And whether it was playing Balloon's Tower Defense with Nick, rooming with Garrett, Aiden, and Mike in Acadia, or playing the penny game with Sasha and Sean, I found those golden moments in time. Significant People, only in their insignificance. Course, For me, it is those brothers. little moments that I really discovered brotherhood at its strongest. Playing, now, of course, defense, COVID Nick, certainly threw, threw us a little bit of a wrinkle. Mike, Nikita, For me, that meant being game, stuck at home with Sean, eight siblings. Sean. Yes, it, it offered me a chance to get close with my family. I do generally cherish the time spent with them. But in truth, the only thing that kept me sane for that time was the Zooms and FaceTime calls with my friends, as well as the production of amateur professors. For those of you who haven't heard of this vital sensation, this was a podcast focused on our study of Europe at the AP European History Curriculum, ahead of our abbreviated test. Started by Sean Fay, Jack Hood, future Bulldog Aiden Healy, and I, it ran for a grand total of four episodes, reaching the Gutenberg printing press before running out of steam. However, the process of coordinating and recording these episodes kept me in contact with friends that I couldn't see in person, and thus, even here, kept far from Baker Street, did the Brotherhood live on. But the height of the crisis passed, as has the hybrid schedule and the daunting May term. Our time at CM has flown by, especially these last few years. My fellow CM brothers, it was a pleasure and a privilege to spend that time alongside you. Part of the reason why I'm giving this speech at all, that you helped to make CM a place that I want to come to every single day. But of course, those days when we spent six, seven, eight, ten, or twelve hours a day on campus have come to a close. We all stand on the brink of something new. Whether we are like most off of college, or to a gap year, or to even the real world, we must all leave CM behind and go make something of our lives. As you know, we are leaving this relatively comfortable place to go out into an interesting world. I won't call our world difficult, but Mr. Jordan would assure me that medieval peasants would very much envy living in the modern era. But to quote the American scholar, scholar by Ralph Waldo Emerson, this time, like all times, is a very good one, if we but know what to do with it. In choosing to do what to do with the limited time we've been given, I think it would be a mistake not to take something away from the time we spent at CM. I expect some of us will take away different lessons than others, but for me, I will be looking to forge new friendships, like the one that formed the core of the Brotherhood, while also maintaining the friendships from high school most important to me. I also go forth from CM, cognizant of how much I owe to those around me. Without my teachers, my friends, and most importantly my family, I never would have gotten here today. Anything I achieve in the future will be a direct result of everything I received earlier in life. That With that in mind, so that rather than merely being an observer of the times we live in, I must act in ways that make the world a better place. What exactly that commitment will look like in the future years is unclear. But I think it would be highly ungrateful not to use at least part of my life in service to others. Well, I think I've gone on long enough, so we'll do you all the service of wrapping up. Before I go, I must first thank Dr. Follin, Principal O'Brien, and the rest of the administration for both allowing me to speak today and everything they've done to make CM such a wonderful place. I want to thank all my teachers, especially Mr. Clark, Dr. Corso, and Mr. Bradley, for all they've done for me in their capacities as teachers, directors, moderators, and mentors. I would not be who I am today without your guidance. And thank you to my family, especially mom and dad, 
directors, and wavering support of me. And, and finally, my fellow CM brothers, brothers thank you. I could not have done this without your friendship. I hope to see many of you at future alumni golf tournaments. Roll nice and live Jesus in our hearts. Thank you. I could not have done this without your friendship. Hope to see many of you at future alumni golf tournaments. Roll nice and live Jesus in our hearts. Thank you, John and Aiden. The Catholic Memorial graduating class of 2022 has an incredible list of achievements you, in Aiden. their time here on Baker Street. The, Catholic Memorial graduating the countless class championships, awards, and an honors are to be commended. In, their time here on Baker in the list of incredible opportunities the these young men will undertake after graduation is impressive to say the least. In the list of incredible opportunities but as John and Aiden clearly noted, it is the connection is these young men have with each other in the community that will be their noted. legacy here on Baker this Street. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. And now, the President of Catholic Memorial, Dr. Peter Fullen, assisted by Ms. Gloria Riley, the now, Vice Principal President for Catholic Academic Memorial, Affairs, Dr. will confer diplomas upon the graduates. Riley. The, the honor of calling the graduates goes to a man who serves Catholic Memorial as the vice principal of grades 9 through 12. He himself is a graduate of Catholic Memorial and holds a Bachelor of Arts degree and a Master's in Education from Boston College. To call the role of graduates, ladies and gentlemen, is an honor and a privilege to present Mr. Carl Danzo. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. A reminder to please hold your applause you, until I signal a break so that each family can hear their graduates' name called. Until I signal a break so that each family can hear their graduates' name called. Socrates Xavier Abreu. Socrates Xavier Abreu. Michael Thomas Bain. Summa cum laude. Michael Thomas Bain. Summa cum laude. Cyrus Christopher Bleakley, Cyrus Magna Cum Laude. Liam Matthew Bonney. Liam Matthew Bonney. Joseph Everett Borelli, Summa Cum Laude. Aiden Anthony Aiden Boucher. Anthony Boucher. Oh, oh, oh. Connor, Connor Paul, Paul Boyle. Boyle. William, William Tate Carter. James, James Robert, Robert Joseph, Joseph Celli, summa, summa cum laude. Yike, Yike, Yike Chen, summa, summa cum laude. John Edmund Chanowski. Keegan Thomas, Thomas Clardy, Magna, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Sean, Sean Patrick, Patrick Kagavin, Summa, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander, Alexander Richard, Richard Cole, Cole. Summa, Cum Summa Cum Laude. Brendan, Brendan Patrick, Patrick Keneally, Summa, Summa Cum Laude. Joseph, Joseph James, James Porter, Porter Connolly, Connolly. Magna, cum magna cum laude. Connor, Connor Joseph, Joseph Coulter. Coulter. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Anthony, Anthony Cozier, Cozier cum summa cum laude. Thomas, 
Thomas Galbraith Green, summa cum laude. Larry Dang, summa cum laude. Andrew Justin Delucia. Samuel Richard Durano, magna cum laude. Ryan Patrick Dermody, summa cum laude. Joderson Dominique Desire. Nicholas Anthony Dorito, magna cum laude. Owen Neil Duffy, magna cum laude. Brendan Patrick Egan, magna cum laude. Axel Martin, Martin Eckberg, summa cum laude. <laughs> Edward <laughs> Key Ellis, Ellis Jr. <laughs> Nicholas James, James Francis, Francis Emilio, summa cum laude. Evan Christopher England, magna cum laude. Sean Michael Fay, summa cum laude. Maximo Abram Gutierrez Fenn, magna cum laude. Ronan Francis Finn, magna cum laude. Aiden Patrick Flanagan, summa cum laude. Ryan Edward Flynn, summa cum laude. Ethan Richard Gallery. Brendan Joseph Galvin, summa cum laude. John Robert Gannon, summa cum laude. Brady Edward Gaynor. Thomas James Gunnan, summa cum laude. Connor Edward Graham. Lucas Walter Guts, summa cum laude. Aiden Lawrence Healy, summa cum laude. Ryan John Hester. Milo Gregory Hodge. John Peter Hood, summa cum laude. Nolan, 
Nolan, Nolan Cooper, Cooper Cole, Cole Howard, Howard. Suma Kumare. Hao Shen Hong, Suma Kumare. Min Jang, Suma Kumare. Sergio Simone Jansen Sanchez, Suma Kumare. Joseph Patrick Jolly, Suma Kumare. James Robert Julian III, Suma Kumare. John Hamilton Kelly, Suma Kumare. Charles Joseph Kettlewell, Suma Kumare. Aiden Joseph Killigan, Magna Kumare. Kyle Julian King. Max Kudinov, Suma Kumare. Dylan Francis LaMonica, Suma Kumare. Ryan Lawrence Larson, Suma Kumare. Charles Scott Leahy. Nicholas Peter Leone. Kale Vincent Linehan. Chi Ming Leo, summa cum laude. Antonio Lopez Doherty, magna cum laude. John Thomas Lowry. Brandon Jamal Maddox. Ty David Magliozzi. John Joseph Marcucci, summa cum laude. Evangelos Marcos. Devon Joseph Lee Marshall, magna cum laude. John James McAdams, summa cum laude. Chad Thomas McDonald, summa cum laude. John James McAdams. John summa William McGurn, summa cum laude. John James McIntosh, summa cum laude. Michael Doyle McNally Jr., summa cum laude. John, 
Fan Yang Men, Suma Kumare. Christian Warren Maloney, Summa Cum Laude. Zion Brandeo Montero. Christian Warren Maloney, Summa Cum Laude. Jeremiah Christopher Morgan. Luke David Moriarty. Owen David Morrissey, Summa Cum Laude. Luke David Moriarty. Nolan John Mullen. Daniel Patrick Muller. John Mullen. James Joseph Mungoven. Daniel Patrick Muller. Connor Stephen Nelson. Summa Kumare. James Joseph Mungoven. Nice job, Jay! Thomas Edward O'Brien. Connor Stephen Nelson, Summa Cum Laude. Andrew Ryan O'Connor, Summa Cum Laude. Thomas Edward O'Brien. Kale Michael O'Connor, Summa Cum Laude. Andrew Ryan O'Connor, Summa Cum Laude. Kale Michael O'Connor, Sean Joseph O'Connor, Summa Cum Laude. James Christopher Parlon, Summa Cum Laude. Sean Joseph O'Connor, Summa Cum Laude. Eric Walter James Peterson, Christopher Parlon, Summa Cum Laude. Joseph Gerard Pontramoli. Eric Walter Peterson. Nicholas Antonio Reginato. Summa Joseph Cum Laude. Gerard Pontramoli. Colin Michael Nicholas Reed. Antonio Summa Cum Laude. Summa Cum Laude. Torin Artavian Roberson Jr. Jack Christopher Ryan. Paul Anthony Sedatus the third. Roman Paul Santangelo. Roman Paul Santangelo. Andrew Peter Schiller, Summa Cum Laude. Andrew Peter Schiller. Gerald Francis Sewak III, Summa Cum Laude. Daniel Robert Sakar, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Robert Sakar, Garrett James Smith, Summa Cum Laude. Garrett James Smith, Summa Cum Laude. John Edward Sokol, Summa Cum Laude. John Edward Sokol, Summa Cum Laude. Luke Patrick Stacy. John Paul William Stoughton, Summa Cum Laude. John Paul William Stoughton, Summa Cum Laude. Simon Nicholas Strauss, 
Magna Cum Laude. Simon Nicholas Strauss, Magna Cum Laude. Devin Andrew Sweet, Summa Cum Laude. Devin Andrew Sweet, Summa Cum Laude. Josiah Henrik Sidnor, Summa Cum Laude. Josiah Henrik Sidnor, Summa Cum Laude. James Paul Thomas Jr. James Paul Thomas Jr. Robert Luke Wade, Summa Cum Laude. Robert Luke Wade, Summa Cum Laude. Dominic Roger Waleka, Summa Cum Laude. Dominic Roger Waleka, Summa Cum Laude. Isaiah Roy Walker, Magna Cum Laude. Colby Duff Wheeler, Magna Cum Laude. Hao Yoon, Summa Cum Laude. Yinter Yoon, Yinter Summa Cum Laude. Juan Camilo Juan Zhang, Zang, Summa Cum Laude. Iju Zhang. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Graduates, on behalf of, on behalf of the Edmund Rice, the Edmund Rice Christian, Christian Brothers, Brothers, the Catholic, the Catholic Memorial, Memorial Board, Board of Directors, of Directors the, faculty the faculty of our school, of our school. I, hereby I hereby confer, confer your, degree. your degree. Can you please, Can you move, please your move your tassel from the right, from side, the right side, to the left side to the left side? Congratulations, Congratulations gentlemen. Well done. With the addition of the class of 2022 as alumni, Catholic Memorial has proudly graduated over 11,000 students in its 62 graduating classes. And now our administrators and department chairs will present our graduation subject awards. The honor of calling the graduation awards goes to our assistant head of school, Mr. Brian Palm. The graduation award in theology is presented by our theology department chair, Dr. Mickey Corso. The theology award goes to Michael Bain. Award in Art is presented by Vice Principal of Academic Affairs, Ms. Gloria Riley. The Art Award goes to Juan Zhang. Graduation Award in Music is presented by instructor in music, Dr. Michael Monroe. 
Music, music Award is presented, is presented to, to James, James Harland. The Brother Samuel Ryan Mathematics, Mathematics Award, Award is presented by our Mathematics and Computer, Computer Science Department Chair, Chair Mr. Pat Murray. Murray. The Mathematics Award goes to Aiden Flanagan. The graduation award in computer science is presented by our computer science department chair, Mr. Patrick Murray. The computer science award goes to Sirio Jansen Sanchez. The graduation award in English is presented by our English department chair, Mr. Vin Catano. The English award is presented to Aiden Healy. The graduation award in science is presented, is presented by, by Vice Principal of Grades 9 through 12, 12 Mr. Danso. Carl Danso. Science the science award is presented, is presented to Garrett, Garrett Smith. Smith. Award in Social Studies is presented by our Social Studies Department Chair, Mr. Ben Bradley. The Social Studies Award goes to John Marcucci. The graduation award in world language is presented by our world language department chair, Mr. Gabe Verdiger. The world language award goes to Sean Kagavin. I would now call to the podium our Vice Principal, Ms. Megan Leahy, to announce the Blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice Award. Our most prestigious graduation award, the Blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice Founders Award, is bestowed on a senior who, in the eyes of the faculty, best exemplifies the mission.
mission, vision, and charism of Blessed Edmund Rice. Blessed Edmund Rice's commitment to Christ under challenging personal and political circumstances led him to recognize education as a key to human flourishing. He courageously founded schools and two institutes of brothers in order to realize his vision. The Blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice Award is given to a senior whose pursuit of excellence, leadership through service, and co-curricular participation and embrace of gospel values has been exceptional while at CM and holds the promise of having a transformative impact on the world. This year's Blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice Founders Award recipient is John Marcucci. We are proud to announce that tonight, that tonight 14, 14, graduates 14 graduates join their fathers, join their fathers as, alumni as alumni of Catholic, of Catholic Memorial. Memorial. I ask I that, I that as I call your names, that both father, that both father and son would stand and remain standing. John Chanowski, John John, Father John, class, class, class of 1987. Yeah. Brendan, Brendan Keneally, Father Paul, Father Paul class, class, class of 1988. Connor Coulter, Connor Coulter Father Robert, Father Robert class, class, class of 1981. Sam Duraney, Father Rick, Father Rick class of 1985. Ronan Finn, Father Joe, class of 1986. Ryan Flynn, Father Jay, class of 1992. Grandfather John, class of 1969. John Gannon, Father Bob, class of 1987. Aiden Healy, Father John, class of 1989. John McAdams, Father James, class of 1985. Michael McNally, Father Michael, class of 1979. Cale O'Connor, Father Rory, class of 1988. James Parlon, Father Paul, class of 1992. Garrett Smith, Father Mark, class of 1985. Robert Wade, Father Robert, class of 1980. Thank you to all these families for their continued dedication and loyalty to Catholic Memorial. You may be seated. Our final speaker tonight earned his Bachelor of Arts degree in English from Boston College and a Master's degree in Education from the Lynch School of Education. He earned his doctorate in education from the University of Pennsylvania, where his research focused on the effects of all-boys schooling. In July 2014, he was appointed as the fifth president and twelfth head of school at Catholic Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Catholic Memorial, Dr. Peter Foley. Congratulations, <clears throat> class of 2022. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to welcome everyone here to O'Connor Stadium, Stadium, Brother McKenna Field, for our 62nd graduation, graduation ceremonies. In life, in life there are many mentors, mentors teachers, teachers, and adults who have an impact, have an impact on your life and your formation. And your formation. Today, is Today is a seminal moment. moment. When you, when you should make the time, the time to thank those family, those family members, 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 friends, teachers, teachers coaches, and mentors, and mentors who have helped, who have helped to achieve this. There are many people, there are many here, people today here today who have supported, supported this class. This class. I, would I would ask that the parents, the aunts, the uncles, the grandparents, and the, and the, special, and the special friends, friends, who, are who, are friends who are here to please stand. stand. This time I would ask that the cl this class of 2022 applaud the people who have supported them on your journey. Thank you, parents. 
expressing, expressing gratitude, gratitude is critical, especially, especially on days like these. Before I share, Before my, I share reflection, my reflection, I want to express my, express my gratitude for someone who has spent 55 years here at Catholic, Catholic Memorial. He is a man who embodies the charism of the Christian brothers and blessed Edmund Rice. He has taught and coached thousands of CM students. Mr. Tom Marr is an institution. He is a bedrock of this school. His blood, sweat, and tears have made this institution what it is today. This time I'd like to call Mr. Marr to the stage. It is my pleasure, on behalf of the faculty and the trustees of this school, to present Mr. Marr with an honorary diploma to Catholic Memorial. Mr. Marr. Mr. Marr. Growing up, growing up, growing up, my, growing up, my best, best friend's father had an enormous influence, influence on, my on my life. Like Mr. Like Mr. Marr, Mr. Marr, Mr. Gallagher was a teacher who had a commanding, who had a commanding presence. presence. He had gravitas and swayed the hearts of the minds of the young men that he met. He held himself, he held himself to a high standard. standard. And expected, and expected everyone, everyone to, do to do the same. Mr. Gallagher, Mr. Gallagher was the kind of man who always wore a shirt and tie. He could quote, he could quote Cicero, Cicero and had a Vince Lombardi-like Lombardi coaching quality that made him amazing. When I was eight, when I was years, eight old, years old, Mr. Gallagher, Mr. Gallagher became the head coach, coach of my Conley, Conley League, League baseball, baseball program, program, the Pirates. The Pirates. He was joined, he was by, joined two by two other fathers, fathers Mr. O'Donnell, Mr. O'Donnell and my dad. And my dad. All three of these men had played college baseball. My father at Penn State and the other two dads had played baseball at Harvard. Of course, we had no idea of the pedigree of our coaches. We were only eight. But at that age, our primary goals were to run around the diamond, to play catch, and await that real prize, an ice-cold can of Coca-Cola. That my, that my father handed each of us at the conclusion of every practice, of every practice or, game. or game. Growing up in the late 70s and early 80s, and early 80s baseball, baseball was America's pastime. A common a rite of passage was having, was having a catch in the backyard, in the backyard with, one's with one's father. Kids would meet, Kids at, would meet at the local playgrounds to play pickup play baseball. baseball. There was no there AAU. AAU. There, were no there were no club teams. We lived, we lived and died by the Red Sox. In a baseball in a glove, glove was treated with devotion. I can still, I can remember, still remember how the warm summer winds would blow the clay dust across the town infields. There were no, there were no coolers of water to drink from, no sports drinks, no, sports drinks, no shade, no sunscreen. There was only a short hose attached to the school's outdoor spigot. To dilute the taste of the rubber hose, you had to let the run, you had to let the water run for a few minutes, for a few minutes. But, it was great. but it was great. With three collegiate, With three collegiate baseball, baseball players as coaches, players the Pirates learned true fundamentals. True fundamentals. By, the By the end of the season, season we could all hit well, all hit well and, learn and learn to play each position. Each position. Mr. Gallagher, Mr. Gallagher though, taught us many, taught us many other lessons. Boys, Boys always, keep, always your keep your head up, especially, especially after, after you've a made a mistake or an error. Or an error. Accept your mistake, mistake and move, on, and move from on from it. We all know, we you, all didn't know you didn't purpose. do it on purpose. If a teammate, if a teammate makes, a mistake, makes a mistake, encourage, encourage and, support and support him. him. Never, criticize, Never criticize, condemn, condemn or, complain. or complain. 
Delete the, delete words, the words easy. easy. Can't. Can't. Soft. Soft. But. But. And I don't and know, I don't know from, your from your vocabulary. Remember. Remember. What you do, what you do on and off the field reflects your, reflects your team, team, your family, your family and, most and most importantly, yourself. yourself. His words, His had, words power, had power, and we aim, and we to, aim please. to please. If you, take, if you care take care of the little things, the little things then, the then the big things work themselves, work themselves out. out. Always come, Always on, come and on and off the field, off the field with a hop in your step. Always play, always play with genuine enthusiasm, enthusiasm. And, always and always remain, remain poised. poised. Be, intense. Be intense, competitive, competitive and, gentlemanly and gentlemanly at all at times. All times. As the season progressed, progress, we rarely face an opponent that could match, that could match the, fundamentals the fundamentals that we were learning. We also, we also learned, learned another, another important, important lesson because of, because of our success. When an opponent, when an opponent makes, makes a great play, play admire, admire and salute him, him and remember, and remember to always show respect. Show respect. While these While were important, important rules to live by, the true, the true lesson that season, season came from a teammate. From a teammate. Who was grace personified. Joey O'Donnell was smaller than his peers. He had a twinkle in his eye. He was fearless. And for me, he embodied and still embodies true grit and determination. Joey had a positive attitude. And it infected those around him. He was the kind of guy that you felt lucky to sit next to on the bench. There was, no there was no surprise that Joey was, was the president of his grade. He was well-rounded, well enjoyed, enjoyed the arts, had a sense, had a sense of humor. humor. Kids were drawn to him. And he was always surrounded by people. It was commonplace to see someone giving Joey a piggyback. Joey had a disease in 1983 that was not well known. A genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. CF causes, CF causes a persistent lung infection, lung infection that, limits that limits one's ability to breathe. The CF, the CF gene causes thick buildup of mucus to form that causes lung damage and respiratory failure. At that time, there was no real therapeutics. While as kids, we leisurely watched cartoons, Joey had to endure painful massage therapy on his chest. To break, to break up the mucus, up the mucus that was slowly his filling his lungs. As teammates, As teammates we were not fully aware, aware of the challenges Joey faced. Joey faced. He, rarely he rarely let on about them. On the Pirates, on the Pirates Joey, was Joey was a respected teammate. teammate. He was the automatic, was the automatic first baseman. First baseman. <coughs> playing, playing first, first base, base helped, helped Joey to conserve his energy. energy. It, also it also helped our team, helped our team because Joey, Joey is great at snagging, at snagging wayward, wayward throws, throws to first. To first. He, was he was a solid hitter. And when he made, when he made contact, he would run, run his hardest to first base. base. Well, he had, well, he had a good eye and a strong bat, bat. The, sprint the sprint to first, to first base would exhaust him. Each time, Each time Joey, Joey made it safely to the first to base, the first base a, teammate a teammate would relieve him and take his place. That extra, that extra bit of rest was all that he needed to return to play the infield in the next inning. That special season, Joey never gave up. He didn't complain, and he gave what he could. He personified poison class. He had humility, and he demonstrated true courage. I can still recall the end of the season cookout for the Pirates at the O'Donnell's house. Coach Gallagher, Coach Gallagher gave Mr. Mr. and Mrs. O'Donnell an award, the MVP the award, the most, the most valuable parent. Mr. O'Donnell, Mr. O'Donnell was a big guy. guy. He was kind, he was kind and, loving. and loving. And at that age, for us, he was larger than life. He took, he took joy in welcoming everyone into his home and masterfully cooked hot dogs for the entire team. Mrs. O'Donnell, Mrs. O'Donnell was equally kind, patient, patient loving, loving, and wonderful, and wonderful to, be to be around. 
when Joey, when passed, Joey away passed away a few short, short years later, later at the age of 12, it crushed, it crushed our, entire our entire community. His funeral, His funeral mass, mass was held at St. Joseph's Church. Church. And, each and each member of the, of the pirates came to pay his respects. His respects. It, was it was a moment that defined our childhood. Our childhood. It, tested it tested our faith. Our faith. Joe and Kathy O'Donnell have dedicated their lives to finding a cure for the disease that took Joey's life. They turned tragedy into advocacy, and they began the Joey Fund. Their work and their dedication to their son's legacy has taken many paths and faced many challenges over the last 35 years. In the, beginning, in the beginning, and for many, and for many years, years, their search for CF, for CF therapeutics and a cure moved slowly. There were no there immediate, immediate wins. wins. Their faith their was faith tested, tested often. often. In truth, in truth modern, modern science, science needed to advance to the point, to the point where, where researchers could map all aspects of the gene, of the gene that causes, that causes CF. CF. The O'Donnell family, family never, never stopped advocating, advocating counseling, counseling, and inspiring and others. others. They, never they never lost sight of their goal. Of their goal. The, Joey the Joey Fund has, has now raised over $250 million. Dollars. Understanding, Understanding the need for the CF, for the CF research to take a leap, Mr. O'Donnell, Mr. O'Donnell helped to map out a, out a new approach. He put, he put together, together a larger team. team. One dedicated, one dedicated to, to fighting this disease. disease. He started he by aligning the, the, the Joey Fund with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Foundation. Then the two then nonprofits partnered, partnered with Vertex, with Vertex a for-profit for Boston, Boston pharmaceutical firm, firm. After, which after which they made strategic investments into the most, into the most promising of research. Of research. This unique, this unique hybrid, hybrid model, model blended, blended with the best of for-profit for with that of non-profit was, was a new idea. It's a, it's a philanthropic venture fund. fund. This, approach this approach leveraged, leveraged the, best the best techniques from venture capital, from venture capital finance, finance, business, business management, management, and combined them with academic research and the cutting-edge cutting industry and the applications, and the applications of the science. Of the science. The hybrid, the hybrid approach resulted in four new medicines, medicines that successfully treat 90% of all CF patients. Setting up this revolutionary venture fund and building the right partnerships drove innovation. It produced results. The integration of ideas and the combined talents of this team approach empowered the right research. It produced. It produced. This, unique this unique philanthropic, philanthropic venture now leverages nearly four billion in assets, assets with, one with one goal, curing cystic fibrosis. Mr. and Mrs. O'Donnell, O'Donnell never gave up on their vision. They faced, they faced many, many, many dark, dark days, days, but they kept, but they kept pushing, pushing forward. forward. They, they always kept, kept hope alive. alive. Well, there's still While there's not still not yet a quick cure, cure for CF, for CF today, with today with the drugs that are available, my friend, my friend would have lived into his 60s. Into his 60s. Fresh, Fresh ideas, innovative, innovative thinking, thinking dedicated, dedicated efforts, efforts in a deep in a faith, faith has changed, changed lives and positively, and positively impacted this world. This world. My, friend my friend and mentor, mentor Mr. Gallagher, Mr. Gallagher is now, is now older. much older. He's retired. He's retired. He, only he only wears a tie to church on Sundays. On Sundays. He, still he still watches baseball, baseball and is known, and is to, known have to have a catch with his, with his grandson, grandson Joey. Joey. As, I As I reflect on that season, season Coach Gallagher, Gallagher understood, understood the dignity and the grace, and the grace that, resided that resided within Joey. Within Joey. He understood he that, that we were witnessing something that was, that was incredibly rare. rare. He wanted he us wanted to us remember the heroism of Joey, of Joey. And, to this and to this day I keep a quote from Mr. Gallagher, from Mr. Gallagher in my office that reminds me of that season, of that season and, Joey. and Joey. A champion, a champion is, not is not determined by the scoreboard, by the scoreboard of an individual, individual contest. 
but rather by the style and the talent produced consistently over the course of an entire season. A champion handles life's defeats and victories by maintaining poise, displaying courage, and moving on with dignity. Joe and Kathy O'Donnell, the most valuable parents of that baseball season, are the true, are the true MVPs, MVPs in the battle in the against CF. CF. They have, they have consistently displayed courage, courage poise, and dignity throughout their lives. Their lives. Gentlemen, Gentlemen, each of you, each of you has, an has an incredibly bright future. future. You, can you can make a difference in this world. In this world. As, you As you encounter the defeats and the victories, and the victories within, within your life, your life and, they and they will come, I pray, that, I pray you that you can demonstrate the poise, the poise display, the display the courage, and the dignity, and the dignity in, the moments in the moments that count, that count the, most. the most. Life is a great Life adventure. Is a great adventure. It's, filled it's filled with many, with many highs and lows. And, lows. and, how, you and how you handle them, them it, does it does matter. As you explore, As you explore this amazing world, world and seek out people who will test and stretch you, explore new cultures. And seek, and seek God, God in, all in all things. You have, you one, have wild one wild and precious life, life. So, don't so don't waste it. it. Invite, Invite people to have coffee. To have coffee. Say, a Say a prayer in each church that you travel past. Read great, Read great, books. great books. Attend, Attend lectures. lectures. Go, to Go to concerts. Ask people, Ask people out, on, out dates. on dates. Trust in, Trust who, in who you are. You are. And what, and what you have achieved. Build great, Build great teams. teams. Appreciate teammates for who they are, not for who they are not. They are not. And, and always, always make room, make room at your table for one more, for one more person. Small, Small acts add up. Hold doors, Hold doors for, each for each other. Have a firm, have a firm handshake. handshake. Look people, Look people in, the in the eye. And remember, and remember that, your that your word is your bond. Is your bond. Like, blessed like Blessed Edmund Rice, Rice never, forget never forget that ordinary people can do can extraordinary, extraordinary things and change our world. Our world. If, you if you win one, one award in life, let it be, let it be for, for being, being the most valuable parent. parent. The, actions the actions taken to win that, to win that award, they matter they the matter most. The most. We have many, we have many MVPs, MVPs sitting, sitting here, here in the audience tonight, tonight who can attest, who can attest to, that to that truth. Gentlemen, Gentlemen remember, remember to dare for greatness, for greatness and, always and always strive to conquer, to conquer evil by doing, by doing good. good. Let, us Let us conclude with our aspiration, with our aspiration that, draws that draws love and God, and God into, into our hearts, our hearts. One, more one more last time. Last time. I, pray I pray that, that we Jesus live Jesus in our hearts, in our hearts forever. 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 Congratulations, Congratulations gentlemen. gentlemen. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Follin. And thank you, and thank you to, all to all of our families, of our families friends, friends, and our now, and our now alumni, alumni members of the class of, the of 2022. 2022. We are blessed, we are blessed to be, to be gathered, here gathered here together on Baker on Street, Baker Street where, we where we have shared so many memories, so many memories and, so, and so, celebrated so many accomplishments. So many accomplishments. I'd, like I'd, like I'd like to thank all the faculty and staff, and staff once, again, once again for their efforts to make this, to make this week's event such a celebration, such a celebration and, for all, and for all the work that you have, that done, you have done for the class of 2022. Of 2022. And now, and now I would, like I would like to ask Brother Kirk Phelps to bring our ceremony, ceremony to a close by delivering the benediction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus came to the shore and called Peter and James. They left everything and followed Jesus. The class of 2022 has heard a call. They will leave Catholic Memorial for new adventures. We give thanks for the many blessings our CM years have given us. 
the friends, the friends we, have made, we have made, the lessons, the lessons we, have we have learned in and out, of, in the and out of the classroom, the support, the support, of, the support of our parents and our friends, and our friends. The, support the support of CM's, of CM's faculty and staff. And staff. We now, we now our ask Lord our Lord to bless, to bless our, our graduates to, as, they take, as they take the next step into the new, into the new period of the time of, the time of, their, lives. of their lives. Bless them, bless them in, in the many endeavors this summer, this summer and, next year, and next year that come, that come forth, forth them. for them. Finally, Finally give them strength to dedicate, to dedicate their, lives their lives to Catholic Memorial's motto, Vince and Bono, Bono Malum. Conquer evil, evil by, doing, by good. doing good. We ask all, we these, ask all these blessings to the intercession of Mary, our mother, and Jesus, and Jesus our, brother. our brother. Amen. Amen. In the name of the, the, name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.